Okay, for this project, you're going to need the size G or 4 millimeter crochet hook. And you're also going to need a tapestry needle and your scissors and the eyes for your Yorkie. And here I'm just using the Sun Catcher craft eyes. And I'm using the black, the black eye that has the safety hook or catch on the back. And the colors I'm going to do for my Yorkie, I'm going to use the Karen one pound. And this is a lace color or a light brown or tan color. And for the flower, I'm going to go ahead and use a purple color. This is called Orchid and it's from Red Heart Super Saver for the flower. And you're going to need some black yarn. I'm used to just using a value yarn, Craftsmart value yarn uh, for the nose. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the snout of the Yorkie. Okay, go ahead and get your main color and we're going to work on the snout. So go ahead and drape it across the yarn across your four fingers and you can use your thumb to help stabilize. We're going to do a magic circle. Just go around your two middle fingers and then with your pinky and your thumb just kind of hold the yarn in place like that. And then take your G hook, crochet hook, and you're going to go under the two loops. You're going to yarn over and pull under and then you're going to yarn over again and pull through for your knot. We're going to do six single chains into the magic circle. So you're going to go under, yarn over, pull under. You have two loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, pull your hook upside down, and then pull through both loops on the hook, and that's one single chain. And that's two single chains. three single chains, four single chains, five single chains, and the last one, six single chains. So then go ahead and take your forefinger and your thumb and then grip it at the bottom of the six single chains. Then you have your two loops on the side. Go ahead and pull to close the loop and then let go and then pull on the loose strand and then your work looks like this. Now you're going to do two single chains into each stitch. So in your first stitch right here, you're going to do two single chains. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and you have one single chain. Go through the same stitch yarn over, yarn over again, and you have two single chains in the same stitch. You want to do that all the way around. Next stitch, three, four single chains, one single chain, two single chain for a total of six single chains, one single chain, Two single chains for eight, one single chain, two single chains, ten, and then the last two, one and two for a total of twelve single chains. Now you're going to get your yarn marker, and I'm just using a little bit of my leftover yarn to mark my spot. And now this is an increase round. So you're going to do one single chain in the next stitch and then two single chains in the next stitch after that. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. And the next stitch, you're going to do two single chains in the same stitch. One, two. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to your yarn marker. I'm going to show you one more. In the next stitch, you just do one single chain. And the next stitch you're going to do two single chains. Now go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next step.
Okay, so you should have just finished the one single chain in one stitch and then two single chains in the next stitch. Now we're just going to do one single chain in every stitch. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. Now we're going to do one single chain in every stitch for the next four rounds. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around to your yarn marker and do that for four rounds. And then come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so your work should look like this. And you should have finished your four rounds. You can count here, one, two, three, four rounds. Now we're going to do an increase round. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and put it right where you left off. And now we're going to do one single chain in the next two single chains and then do two single chains in the third stitch. So in the next stitch, you do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. Next stitch, you're going to do two single chains in the same stitch. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way around to the yarn marker. So I'm going to do one more, one single chain one single chain and then in the third stitch you're going to do two single chains one two go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to your yarn marker and come back and i'll show you the next step okay so you should have just finished the one single chain in two stitches and then two single chains in your third stitch now we're going to do a slip stitch so go into your next stitch yarn over and then you're going to pull your hook through both and that's your slip stitch. Now we're going to finish off so go ahead and yarn over pull through and then leave enough yarn for sewing on to the head. Now you can go ahead and get take your yarn marker out and make sure that you have the right side out. The inside should have the beginning loose strand from the magic circle. Go ahead and put that on the inside. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to embroider our nose on. So make sure that you have the muzzle or the snout how you like it. And I'm going to put the snout on the head with this side up. So see the circle? On the inside here is where you're going to embroider with your black yarn. So go ahead and get your black yarn ready on your tapestry needle and come back and we'll sew on the nose. Okay, so you should have your tapestry needle and your black thread and we're going to sew on the nose and we're going to follow the circle around the nose. So go ahead and go from the inside and come up anywhere on that circle. Leave enough of the yarn on the inside, the black yarn on the inside, to tie your knot. And then just go over along the circle and then just embroider the circle. So we're just sewing along the circle. So when you finish sewing all the way around the circle, come back and then I'll show you the next step for finishing the nose. Okay, so you see how I finished embroidering all around the circle on the nose. So now we're just going to go across and down the center of the nose. So just take your black thread and then go back and forth just like that. So just go until you've covered the whole nose and then come back and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you can see how I've covered the whole nose with the black, black yarn. So now you can just take and turn it inside out and just make sure that you tie a knot on the inside. 
So if it's bunched up, it's okay because it's going to be on the inside anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then just turn it back and just make sure that you cut the end of the yarn and put that aside. And you can see the nose. So now you're just going to put this aside because we're going to make the head now. So go ahead and get your main color and we're going to do another magic circle. So you can just drape the yarn across, loop it around your two middle fingers twice. And we're going to do six single chains into the magic circle. So you're going to yarn over, yarn over, and you have your knot. Just go under the two loops, yarn over, yarn over for one, one single chain, two single chains, three single chains, four single chains, five single chains and six single chains. And then just go ahead and take your forefinger and your thumb and just hold it and then just pull on the strand and like I said if it doesn't um, pull you can let go and then pull on the other one and if that doesn't work then just pull on the opposite one and it should work. And then just take the loose strand and pull on that and that will close up your magic circle nicely now you're going to do two single chains in each stitch. So in the next stitch, you're going to do two single chains. So one, two, next stitch, two single chains, one, two, total of four, one, Two, total of six, one, two, total of eight, one, two, total of ten, and then your last two, one, two. So it should look like this for a total of 12 single chains. Now you're going to get your yarn marker and we're going to start doing the increase round. So in this round you're going to do one single chain in the next stitch and then two single chains in the stitch after that. So in the next stitch you're going to do one single chain and then the next stitch you're going to do two single chains. One and two in the same stitch. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around to your yarn marker, but I'm going to show you one more, one single chain, and then two single chains in the next stitch. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back up to the yarn marker and come back and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have finished the one single chain in one stitch and then two single chains in the next stitch. Now we're going to do one single chain in the next two stitches and then two single chains. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. Into the next stitch you're going to do one single chain. And then in the next stitch you're going to do one single chain. And then in the next stitch you're going to do two single chains. One, two. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way back up to your yarn marker. I'm going to do one more with you. So in the next stitch, one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. And then the next stitch, two single chains. One, two. Okay, go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and come back and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have finished the one single chain in two stitches and then two single chains in the third. So now we're going to do one single chain in the next three stitches and then two single chains. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up 
And in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. Third stitch, one single chain. And in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two single chains. One, two. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way back to your yarn marker. I'm going to do one more with you. So in the next stitch, do one single chain. Second stitch, one single chain. Third stitch, one single chain. And in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two single chains. One and two. Go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so your work should look like this. You should have finished one single chain and three stitches and then two single chains in the fourth stitch. We're going to do another increase round. So this time we're going to do one single chain in the next four stitches and then two single chains. Go ahead and move up your yarn marker. And in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. Third stitch, one single chain. And the fourth stitch, one single chain. And in the fifth stitch, you're going to do two single chains. One and two in the same stitch. Then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to your yarn marker. I'm going to do one more with you. One single chain. Second stitch, one single chain. Third stitch, one single chain. Fourth stitch, one single chain. And in the fifth stitch, you're going to do two single chains. One, two. Okay, go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next okay, step. So for the, uh, you just finished the one single chain and the four stitches and then two single chains in the fifth stitch. So this is going to be our last increase round and we're going to do one single chain in the next five stitches and then do two single chains in the next stitch. So go ahead and move up your yarn marker and in the next stitch you're going to do one single chain second stitch, one single chain, third stitch, one single chain, fourth stitch, one single chain, fifth stitch, one single chain, and then you're going to do two single chains in the sixth stitch. One and two in the same stitch. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next step. So this is how your work should be looking. You just did um, one single chain and five stitches and then two single chains. Now we're just going to do one single chain in every stitch and we're going to do that for eight rows. So go ahead and take your yarn marker up, mark your spot, and then in your next stitch you're going to do one single chain and you're going to do one single chain all the way around back to your yarn marker and you're going to do that for eight rows. So go ahead and do one single chain all the way around for eight rows and come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have finished your eight rows and you can check from here's your yarn marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rows. So you can go ahead and take out your yarn marker and go ahead and get your, your muzzle or your snout and I usually just use some pillow stuffing, you know, from a cheap pillow, and just put that into the snout. And you can go ahead and put it on how you like it on your head. And make sure you line it up here so you still have room to crochet there. And you're going to take your tapestry needle. Go ahead and thread the yarn that you left for sewing. Put that onto your tapestry needle. Position your nose how you want it again onto the head. And you're just going to go into the head with your tapestry needle.
then come up from the inside about where you went in and make sure you come in on the snout and then on the snout you're just going to go around and through the head and then you're going to come up through the snout just like that and just keep doing that all the way around so on your snout and then come back and I'll show you the next step okay, so you should have finished sewing on your snout go ahead and turn your work over and on the inside go ahead and make a knot And you can just leave that on the inside because that'll just be when you put your stuffing in. And now go ahead and put your eyes how you'd like it onto the Yorkie. Make sure they line up equally. And once you have the eyes where you like them, go ahead and turn your work over and take and position on the safety latch. And it looks cute. So now we can go ahead and finish closing up the head. Go ahead and take your G hook. Again, crochet hook. And take your yarn marker so you can see where, where you are as you're working. And go ahead and do one single chain around. So in every stitch around back to your yarn marker, you're just going to do one single chain. Okay, so you should have finished the round of one single chain in each stitch. Now we're going to do a decrease round. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and you're going to go one single chain into each of the next two stitches and then you're going to do a decrease. So what you're going to do is in the next stitch, get my yarn marker there, you can do one single chain and then in the next stitch, one single chain. And then you're going to do a decrease. And how you're going to do that is you're going to go into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull your yarn through, and you have two loops on the hook. You're going to go into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over, and now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, and you're going to take, and you're just going to pull the yarn through all three. And that's a decrease. So the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain, next stitch, one single chain, and you're going to do another decrease, so you go into the next stitch, yarn over, you have two hooks, two loops on your hook, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and then you have three, and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and I'll do one more with you. One single chain, one single chain, and then one decrease. Okay, go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around and come back and I'll show you the next step. Finish the one single chain and two stitches and then the decrease stitch. And you can see I have two stitches left. You can go ahead and just do one single chain in each of those stitches. And then you're back to your yarn marker. So now we're going to do one single chain all the way around. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And for this round, you're just going to do one single chain in each stitch all the way around. So in the next stitch, you just do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. 
one single chain in the next stitch and just keep doing that all the way around back to your yarn marker and come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have finished one single chain in every stitch. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up to your next row. And then in this row, you're going to do one single chain in the next stitch and then you're going to do a decrease. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do a decrease. You go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up. You have three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way back to your yarn marker. So in the next stitch, you just do one single chain. And then you're going to do your decrease. Next stitch, yarn over, pull up. Your next stitch, yarn over, pull up. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should be almost back to your yarn marker. You can see you have two stitches left. So you're going to go ahead and just put one single chain into each of those stitches. And you can see how your Yorkie is turning out and the hole for the um, head. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do one more decrease round. So go ahead and get your yarn marker and move it up. And we're going to do one single chain in the next three stitches and then do a decrease. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain, and then you're going to do a decrease. I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker. So one single chain, one single chain, one single chain, and then a decrease. So go ahead and finish repeating that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next step. So this step. is how your work should be looking. So we're done now with that round with the head. We're going to keep the opening here for stuffing and sewing onto the body. So what you're going to do is in the next stitch you're going to do a slip stitch. So in the next stitch over, go ahead and yarn over, pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. And then you're going to finish off, go ahead and yarn over, pull through, and then just leave a little bit to leave a tail because we're going to use um, the different yarn for sewing. And then go ahead and pull the knot, pull your yarn marker out, and you can set your head aside for now and then we'll get started on the body. So for the body portion of the Yorkie, you're going to go ahead and do your magic circle again. So go ahead and put the yarn over your four fingers, your thumb to stabilize it, and then Loop it around your two middle fingers twice and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And take your crochet hook, go under the two loops, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and then pull through the loop on the hook and that's your knot. And we're going to do six single chains into the magic circle. So go under the loop, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, it's one single chain. two single chains, three single chains, four single chains, five single chains, six single chains. Go ahead and hold the six single chains at the bottom and close your magic circle and take the loose yarn and pull all that to close it. Now you're going to do two single chains into each of the stitches. So in the next stitch, you're going to do two single chains. One, two, and you're going to do two single chains all the way around in each stitch. One, two for four single chains. One, two for six single chains. Seven, eight, one, two for ten, and then two in the last one for twelve, one, two. So 
So now you're going to do your increase round. Go ahead and get your yarn marker. Hold your place. In the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do two single chains. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way over to the yarn marker. And then come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have finished the one single chain in one stitch and then two single chains in the next stitch. So we're going to do another increase round. So this time we're going to do one single chain in the next two stitches and then do two single chains. So in the next stitch, we do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. And the next third stitch, you do two single chains. And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until you get back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next step. So you should have finished the one single chain and two stitches and then two single chains. So we're going to do another increase round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker, move it up, and then in the next three stitches you're going to do one single chain. One, two, three, and then you're going to do two single chains in the fourth stitch. One, two in the same stitch. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and come back and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now we're going to do one single chain in the next four stitches and then do two single chains. So in the next stitch, do one single chain. Next stitch, one single chain. Third stitch, one single chain. And the fourth stitch, one single chain. And then you're going to do two single chains in the fifth stitch. One and two. Okay, go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the yarn marker and come back and then I'll show you the okay, next so we're stitch. going to do another increase round. So we're going to do one and five and then do two single chains in the next stitch. So in the next stitch you're going to do one. Next stitch you're going to do one. Third stitch you're going to do one. Fourth stitch you're going to do one. Fifth stitch you're going to do one. And then in the sixth stitch you're going to do two. Okay, go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around and then come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we just finished our last round of increases. So now we're just going to do one single chain in every stitch. And we're going to do that for 14 rows. So in the next stitch, just do one single chain. And you're going to do only one single chain in every stitch all the way around. And you're going to do that for 14 rows. And when you finish, after 14 rows, come back and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so you should be back with your 14 rows of one single chain in every stitch. And you can check it. Here's your yarn marker, and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now we're going to do a decrease round. Go ahead and get your yarn marker, and then just move it up to where you left off. And now you're going to do one single chain. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain, and then you're going to do a decrease. So you have one, and then the next stitch we're going to do a decrease, and how you do that is in your next stitch, you're going to yarn over, pull up, then go into the next stitch, yarn over, and you have three loops on the hook, you're going to yarn over, and then pull through all three. And you're going to do that pattern all the way around back to your yarn marker. I'll do a couple more with you. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. And then you're going to do your decrease. So in the next stitch, you're going to yarn over, pull up. And then the next stitch, you're going to yarn over. And then you yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and pull through all three. And I'm going to do one more with you. So in the next stitch, you do one single chain. And then you do your decrease. You go into your next stitch, yarn over. Next stitch, yarn over, and yarn over, and pull through three. And then go ahead and repeat that pattern 
all the way around until you get back to your yarn marker and come back and I'll show you the next step. We just finished one single chain and one decrease. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up to the next row. Now we're going to repeat that same pattern of one single chain and one decrease. And I'll do a couple with you. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. In the next stitch, you're going to do a decrease. Next stitch, one single chain. And then you're going to do a decrease. Okay, go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around until you get back to your yarn marker and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should be back and you can see that you have one stitch left before your yarn marker. So we'll go ahead and just do a single chain in that spot. So now you're back to your yarn marker. Go ahead and remove your yarn marker and move it up. And now in this round, we're going to do just do two decreases. So for the first stitch, you're going to do a decrease. You go into the stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and you do one decrease. And now we're just going to do a decrease on the opposite side and one single chain and all the other stitches. So we're going to do one single chain and one single chain, 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 one single chain. and then when you're opposite your yarn marker, you're going to do a decrease. So we're going to do a decrease now. So in the next stitch, yarn over. And then in the next stitch, you're going to yarn over. You have three on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three. Now do one single chain in every stitch all the way back to your yarn marker. So in the next stitch, one single chain. And go ahead and finish one single chain in every stitch back to your yarn marker and come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have just finished the one single chain and every stitch back to the yarn marker. So we're going to go ahead and check and make sure the head lines up and we're going to be sewing the head on the body soon. So for now, we're just going to do a slip stitch. We're going to finish off because we want to leave the hole here for sewing the head on. So we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So just go into your next stitch, yarn over, and then you're just going to pull it through the loop on the hook, and that's a slip stitch. And we're going to go ahead and finish off, so go ahead and yarn over, pull it through, and then just leave a little bit for tying your knot. And go ahead and set your body to the side, and we're going to go ahead and start on the Okay, foot. so the next step, we're going to do um, legs, the front legs for the Yorkie. So we're going to start with the magic circle. Go ahead and drape the yarn across your four fingers and take your thumb and hold it in place. And then around the two middle fingers, just loop it twice. And then hold it with your thumb and your pinky. And we're going to do six single chains into the magic circle. So go ahead and take your hook, and we're using the G hook, the four millimeter crochet hook. Go under the two loops, yarn over. And then yarn over and pull through your knot and now we're going to do six single chains into the magic circle so go under the loops yarn over yarn over and that's one two three four, five, and six. So go ahead and hold with your forefinger and your thumb the bottom of the six single chains and pull on the opposite loop to close it. And then take your loose strand and pull on that. 
And now we're going to do two, six, two single chains in every stitch. So in the next stitch, do two single chains. You're going to do two single chains in every stitch around back to the beginning for a total of 12. And when you're done, come back and I'll show you the next step. So your, work so your work should look like this. We have 12 single chains around the circle. Go ahead and get your yarn marker. And we're going to do one single chain in the next stitch and then two single chains in the stitch after that. So in the next stitch, you can do one single chain. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do two single chains in the same stitch. One, two. And then go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to your yarn marker and come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so your work looks like this. You just finished the one single chain in one stitch and then two single chains in the next stitch. Now we're going to do three rows of one single chain. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And we're going to do one single chain in every stitch for three rows. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single chain. And you're just going to do one single chain in every stitch around. And then do that for three rows. And then come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have just finished your four rows. And you can check it here. So from your yarn marker, I mean three rows, sorry. One, two, three rows of one single chain in every stitch. So now we're going to do four decreases and I'll show you how to do that. Take your yarn marker, move up, and we're going to do four decreases. So in the next stitch, you're going to yarn over, and the next stitch, yarn over, and then pull through all three, and that's one decrease. Two decrease, three decreases, and then one more, so four decreases. Now you're just going to do one single chain in every stitch back to your yarn marker. So one single chain in the next stitch and then one single chain in every stitch back to your yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do.